हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोशन अंडर ग्रेविटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ग्रेविटी नोट दैट व्हेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज ड्रॉप फ्रॉम सर्टेन हाइट इट मूव्स टुवर्ड्स द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ और व्हेन यू जंप ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ यू आर अगेन पुल्ड बैक टुवर्ड्स द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ दिस पुल इज ड्यू टू द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स अप्लाइड बाय अर्थ this gravitational force is originated at the center of the earth so the gravitational force applied by earth it tries to pull all the objects towards its center this gravitational force depends on the masses of the objects as the mass increases even the gravitational force applied by earth increases it also depends on the distance between object and the center of the earth to discuss this we will first take an example of two magnets kept nearby each other if two magnets are kept just next to each other then they will apply force on each other it could be attractive force or repulsive force but if these two magnets are kept distance apart then they will not be able to apply same amount of attractive or repulsive force on each other so what do we understand over here we understand that as distance increases the effect of the force decreases so we can say that force and distance they are inversely proportional if the distance between two objects decreases then force will increase here also when the object moves towards the center of the earth the distance between object and the earth decreases and hence force between them goes on increasing as the force increases even the motion of the object changes and the change is positive meaning the speed with which the object moves increases you can simply understand that if you are pulling an object towards you with certain force and then you increase the force with which you are pulling the object the motion of the object will increase and it will approach you with a greater speed similarly as object approaches towards earth and the distance between object and earth decreases force increases and hence even the motion of the object increases so imagine this is 10th floor of the building from where you are dropping the object as you drop the object the object reaches to 9th floor 8th floor and so on as it goes downward as the force increases speed with which object moves that increases and as it reaches near the ground it has maximum speed so you can understand that at this point object has minimum speed whereas when it is just about to touch the surface of the earth it has maximum speed so you can understand between these two points speed of the object continuously increases we have learned that change in speed per unit time is known as acceleration so here due to the gravitational force speed of the object changes and object experiences acceleration since this acceleration is due to gravitational force of the object or gravitational force experienced by the object we can say that this is acceleration due to gravity so i have written here force increases so velocity of the object also increases and hence it experiences acceleration this acceleration is known as acceleration due to gravity it is indicated by letter small g i hope you are cleared with what is acceleration due to gravity now we will move to our next topic that is weight of the object i hope you know that mass and weight these are two different physical quantities mass is total content of the object whereas weight is force applied by object on the surface of the earth so please understand weight is nothing but force how do we indicate force or what is the formula for force we know that for formula for force is f is equal to 
m into a where m is mass and a is acceleration when object is on the surface of the earth it experiences acceleration due to gravity you should understand that even if object is resting on the surface of the earth it still experiences gravitational pull because center tries to attract objects towards itself and hence even on the surface object is experiencing force and hence it is experiencing acceleration due to gravity even at this point when the object is on the surface it experiences acceleration due to gravity and hence we can give weight as m into g what we have done here is that for force i have written weight because we have written weight is equal to force mass as it is and in the place of acceleration i have written g where g stands for acceleration due to gravity so weight of the object is given by formula w equals to m into g it is measured in unit newton again i'll repeat weight is force and hence its formula is similar to that of force it just that in the place of acceleration we are considering acceleration due to gravity because object is resting on the surface of the earth next topic we have is gravitational field you know that there is a limit until which earth can apply gravitational force on the body this limit of the earth or the area the region until which object can experience gravitational pull is known as gravitational field of the earth if the object crosses that limit then object will not experience any pull from the center of the earth so gravitational field is nothing but the region in which object can experience gravitational force earth's gravitational field strength is given as 10 newton per kg that's a standard constant value for acceleration due to gravity please note that acceleration due to gravity and earth's gravitational field strength they are similar terms and hence both of them are indicated by letter g standard value for acceleration due to gravity or gravitational field strength is 10 newton per kg in this part of the video we have learned what is motion under gravity we said that as object approaches earth surface of the earth it experiences pull from the center of the earth due to this pull speed of the object goes on increasing continuously and hence there is acceleration this acceleration is due to gravitational force of the earth and hence it is known as acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity has standard value 10 newton per kg or 10 meter per second square because unit for acceleration is meter per second square then we discussed about what is weight weight is nothing but force applied by object on the earth and hence weight is given as m into g where g is again acceleration due to gravity gravitational field is nothing but the region until which gravitational force can be experienced by the object gravitational field strength for earth is given as 10 newton per kg in the next part of the video we are going to discuss about an important concept related to motion under gravity that is terminal velocity now in the second part of the video we are going to discuss about terminal velocity in the first part we learned that whenever an object is dropped from certain height it experiences gravitational pull and hence object has acceleration due to gravity so when the object starts moving towards the ground its speed goes on increasing we have written some examples over here first when a ball is dropped from 10th floor of the building the moment it is dropped its acceleration is 10 meter per second square or when a skydiver jumps off the flight his acceleration is 10 meter per second square so whenever an object is dropped from certain height the moment it is dropped its acceleration is equal to 
acceleration due to gravity that is 10 meter per second square as the object is experiencing acceleration due to gravity its speed goes on increasing as it moves downward as speed of the object increases object starts experiencing air resistance in opposite direction so if the object is moving downward and its speed increases object experiences air resistance and that is in upward direction as downward force of the object increases even upward force increases note that downward force means weight of the object and upward force means air resistance acting on the object imagine a ball is dropped from 10th floor so when it is just starting its journey from 10th floor its acceleration will be 10 meter per second square when it starts moving downward and it comes to 9th floor 8th floor 7th floor and so on it starts experiencing air resistance in upward direction weight acts in downward direction and air resistance in upward direction both of them are acting in opposite direction so they try to cancel out each other at a certain point of the journey forces become equal that is weight of the ball acting downward and air resistance that the ball experiences in upward direction they become equal as the numbers are equal and the forces are in opposite direction they cancel out each other and hence there is no net force acting on the ball at that moment of time so imagine ball reaches to fifth floor and when it reaches to that height there is no net force acting on the ball because downward force is cancelled by upward force when force these forces become equal the object does not experience any net force and hence it achieves a constant velocity we know that whenever no net force acts on the body there will be no acceleration acting on the body because we have the formula for force F equals to mass into acceleration. So if force is zero, then even acceleration will be zero. And if acceleration is zero, then there is no change in velocity. If there is no change in velocity, body is said to be in constant velocity or constant motion. This constant motion of the object is known as terminal velocity now to explain terminal velocity we will refer to these diagrams imagine we are dropping this object ball from this position as soon you drop the object it experiences only gravitational force and hence its acceleration is acceleration due to gravity which has value 10 meter per second square ball approaches towards ground and reaches this position at this position there is some air resistance acting on the ball in upward direction as weight is acting in downward direction and air resistance in upward direction net force experienced here at the center of the ball is lesser than this position as net force decreases value of acceleration also decreases as force and acceleration are directly proportional from the formula f is equal to m into a so at this position acceleration on the ball is lesser than 10 meter per second square ball reaches to this position now wherein air resistance and weight they are equal in numbers they are acting in opposite direction and having equal value so they will cancel out each other and hence at this position ball will experience no net force because air resistance is equal to weight that is downward force is equal to upward force as there is no net force there will be zero acceleration again since formula f is equal to m into a we know that f and a are directly proportional so if net force is zero even acceleration will be zero so at this position since acceleration is zero there won't be any change in velocity but body is already moving so at this point 
it continues to move with same velocity this velocity is known as terminal velocity so i hope you are cleared with what is terminal velocity the position at which upward force that is air resistance becomes equal to downward force of the object that is weight at that point body achieves constant velocity and that constant velocity is known as terminal velocity in this video we have learned about what is motion under gravity we know that as body starts approaching ground it experiences gravitational pull and its speed increases this is known as acceleration due to gravity then we discussed about what is weight and what is mass of the object we have also learned about gravitational field strength of the earth and in this part we discussed about terminal velocity thank you